A lot of black women have put a lot of black men in jail. It occurs when it first occurs is when their single mom can't control them. Their single because, mom. Yes, when their that single mom. That went through a lot of stuff with their by dad. her own making for being a whore. And because who she no was. one ever becomes a single mom. No one ever becomes a single mom unless a they're a whore. That's how you become a single. If you're curious, like I want to know, put together a guide. How do I become a single mom? You become a single mom you were raised because in a you household? are a whore. Were you raised in And let me elaborate. My grandmother was also a whore. Listen. Were you raised by your my, mother or not? No, no. Call her no, I'm going to tell you my grandmother was a whore. And you maybe you're. No. No. You it's were, okay. Maybe okay. your grandmother might be the same. And I'll tell you why. I mean, but I would uh, no, never no. look. She went through what she went through. No, she I'm going to tell you why. It. My grandmother had nine kids. And there's nothing wrong with having nine kids. That's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. But when you have three different baby daddies, mm -hmm. that's an ugly thing. And the only way you can achieve that is by being a whore. And the problem is that we are at a loss for the truth in our society. And just because it's your mother or your grandmother mm -hmm. is not a whore. No, that a whore is a whore. No, I mean, you mean you went through stuff, you did what? stuff, and some people, that's what I mean when I went back to just because you graduated, were, do not burn the schoolhouse were, down because a lot of people are not at the same level you are at in life. That's so why, that that's why we are condemning it are so college. that, no, no, no. That's why we are condemning it so they do not repeat mistakes. The moment but we start letting them school? think, Wouldn't no, no, no. As an adult, garden? as an adult, you will operate on an adult's level. And that's precisely why I said it is upon the man to set the standard and to enforce it. So if I say use a whore, use a whore. You could be my mother, you can be my grandmother, you can be my daughter. You're a whore. And I will you not let you, I, I will look her dead in her face and tell, you, tell her you are a whore and you will not live under my roof or my name as a whore. So you can either stop being a whore or you can pack your shit and I'll help you and I'll call you an Uber. But it's to be a one-way Uber out this motherfucker. But what if she was acting like a whore because her friend invited her to a party and told her that this boy liked her and this boy gave her a kiss and made matter. her do something? That's what, oh, made her do something. Made her do, made her do something. Matter. Because she, she thought it, it was going to be fun Stop and it, it ended up not Stop being fun for her. Listen, I'll tell you exactly what I would tell my daughter. Go ahead. You had the great privilege of having a strong father. So if you've gone away from where I had led you to, which is the straight path, you chose to wander blindly in darkness. That is because there is darkness in you. You had a chance much better than most people could have had. So if you went into darkness, that is because you are wicked. That's not because you didn't know. That's not because you didn't have a daddy. That's not because you were poor. That's because you are a whore and I will not stand it. I will not support it. If you as a whore are going to live, you're not going to live with bread and meat from my table. You're not going to breathe my air. If you are a whore, you will be cast out and you will live like a whore should live, which is on the streets. I feel like Amen I have something to say. Hmm? I feel like I have something to say. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. If my father told me, mm -hmm. I feel like you're being a whore in my home. <laughs> I feel like you're being a whore in my home. I, God, I hope it's not in my home. I hope it's hope it's in his yeah. car, in the back of his I Tesla. I feel like you have the right to tell somebody that you, as a father, that you feel like they're being a whore. Right? Okay. I do feel like yeah, that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. For sure, yeah. The... I just feel like that would, that would never, I mean, if your father is telling you, you live under my roof, yeah. you're eating my food and I think you're a whore. I mean, that would just never happen to me. Mm. I, I think that's completely wrong. I mean, if your father was telling you that, then you would really need to reevaluate. Yeah, I would hope. Yeah. I mean, I would never be in that position myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I can say that confidently. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, I would never, I would never be in that position. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if I was in this situation where somebody felt that way, it would be like I would be long gone. Like I would be right starving. Right, I would yeah. be homeless. Right. And that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. They wouldn't be able to say, I can give you food. I can give mm. you housing. I can take care of you. Why don't you live with me, sweetie? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm. It would be I'm long gone. You know, right. I'm a mess. Yeah. So, yeah, I think ultimately, you know, if your father felt like you were under his roof, then unfortunately you definitely are yeah, because the yeah, only, sure. wow. the yeah, only sure. you would need, if you love look, you, Steve, and I'm glad you don't look, feel like that look, about me. Look, let me just say, has anybody, back, has anybody in this room ever had parents that love them extremely, you know, to the extreme I'm talking about, I was raised by my granddad. I was raised mm -hmm. by my grandmother. They love yeah. me more than anything in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. At they the beginning, I said I was raised by my grandmothers. On my grandmother, sides. my grandfather raised my mom and then they went and on to raise me and my dad, but mostly grandmother. I was extremely blessed. My grandparents are hundred percent white. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I'll be the first one. Yeah, what in the racism? 
I was extremely blessed, darling. My parents were white. I, uh, what more could I ask for, darling? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, every, I mean, you know, it was a really good setup. Okay. When I was an adolescent, when I was about 18 years old, Lord. I ended up becoming this homeless. Is so um, I was homeless for quite a few. I was homeless for the about The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And uh, in the know, words of the great poet Tupac, should, you know what? Let's continue. So during this time, I, uh, I, I cut off my family. Wait, why did you become homeless? I, so, um, <laughs> I, so, um, so when I was 18 well, she's being old, Mandarin. I, so, um, I, so, um, can I go, <laughs> can I go? So when I was 18 years old, I moved to Atlanta oh, alone two. and shortly after moving here, I, why sway to work. I moved here to work on 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 movies and TV sets, scripted okay. movie and TV sets. Okay. Um, that was my job for quite some time. Okay. Um, I met a gentleman and I ended up moving in with him quickly. Um, we ended up becoming homeless together because he was a little bit older than me, mm -hmm. and he expressed his frustration with his parents living with his parents. He was very frustrated. Mm. He was a white man who was very angry, and I told him, "Look." The you white know. man became homeless. They're wow, white man. They, they ain't that. what they yeah. used to be. They was, ain't what they wow. used to be. Good Lord. Wow. What are you doing being homeless? I thought y'all had stability. Was, yeah. Thank God for it. 24 years old. And he really had that opportunity because his family mm -hmm. was helping him out with that movie and TV set work. Mm -hmm. His dad specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and we did that together. You know, I did that all by myself. Um, and we met, you know, we clicked and he was like, I really want an apartment. And he was a felon at the time. So that oh, means that he cannot God. have a lease in Georgia, right? Yeah, white felons out here to like this is getting so crazier cannot, and crazier. He cannot have a lease. You got to get a white. You, you, you need the California coming. whites. They're civil. Yeah, you get these Atlanta whites are different. So this is a very long time ago. Let me just preface. Mm -hmm. Um, I moved in with him. You know X Y Z. Basically, we ended up becoming homeless together because he can't even have any property in Georgia. Bow your heads down. Let's hold hands and pray. I became homeless with him and I was homeless for about three years. It's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Wait, three homeless. years? That's three? a that's commitment. A I was homeless. No, that's a commitment. Let me just say, that's guys, seriously. With the football player. I was homeless. I was young. I was uh -huh. innocent and I was starving to death. I really, really, really was. Sweetheart, You're I saying like really, food wise or just like you were ambitious? Huh? When you say like I'm, I'm like you know rappers like I'm starving, B. No, like, like I was dying of starvation. Like, oh, okay. there are posters okay. up, there are billboards up that uh. says "Hunger is hard to spot." Uh huh. Um, yeah. it was like that. Like I was That's hungry crazy. for food. Um, so I, I, you know, I did that for about three years. He was really thugging. Yes, I actually mm -hmm. really was. Yeah, I really, really mm -hmm. actually was. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope you got that reaction because that was that's a meme right there. Like you was really thugging. She's like, yes, I actually was. Yes, <laughs> I just, that that's a meme. I need that on TikTok. <laughs> the hate. But I need you. that on TikTok. The hate. Yes, I actually was. Yes, I yes, actually yes, was. Actually, thug uh, love. Precisely. Thug love. That's precisely what I was doing. It was, was a real shiny summer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Really? How about you? Have you been homeless? Before? Wow, homeless hmm. without a home. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always had. Shorty said. Homeless without a home? She said, she can't without believe a home. it. She I can definitely believe it, without but without a home? A home? <laughs> nah, I don't she said without a home. You gotta make a trip. She a said, trip. what did y'all do? Homeless without a home? Uh, <laughs> I can't. Not a home. Homeless <laughs> without a home? Baby, it's I was home. homeless. Hey, Papa. Hold on. The, Go ahead. The Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> Wherever she led her head was a home. Mm -hmm. And when she died, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> oh, oh, Goodness oh, Lord. oh, you've never been Shorty homeless, said, Anaya? She's never been homeless without, without a home. home. 